Perked engineering, get us out of here. Come on in, Captain. Sir, the AI demands are too strong. We're getting sucked into the computational black hole. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. All she's got is it good enough? Okay, what okay, else? okay. If we ditch the literal computations and we move to a symbolic model, the boost could be big enough to help us push past the physical limitations of the hardware. Do it, do it, do it! Welcome back to Seed Round, friends. In this episode, we're staring directly in AI's computational black hole and hopping aboard one startup ship's hope to outrun it. First things first, why have we just recently hit warp speed with AI? It's the chips. Since the 70s, computer processors have been following the flight path of Moore's law, not actually a law. Each year, processors are getting jammed with more and more transistors. Those are the little switches that act as computers ones and zeros. More transistors means a boost in the number of computations that a processor can perform. And lately, that boost has been explosive. The latest processors have over 80 billion of these teeny tiny transistors etched into them. Even your iPhone's processor has 19 billion. The startup enterprise OpenAI and ships like it have been using these space age processors to do an astronomical amount of work to train their models, AKA calculate the relationships between words and ideas. But that training takes a lot of computations, like a lot, a lot. And running those computations ain't cheap. OpenAI shell out $86 billion training GPT-4 and Google went 100 million deep training Gemini Ultra. Shoot, OpenAI and Microsoft are even in talks of spending $86 billion in order to build the Death Star, I mean Stargate, to power more computations. Sure, there are plans from chip manufacturers to increase the number of transistors per processor, which will bring down costs, but only one problem. We're running into the limits of the physical universe. You can only fit so many transistors. So how do we escape this inevitability? Symbolica thinks symbols are the solution. Don't try to brute force the computations. Identify patterns in the computations and use symbols to represent those computations in a model. More symbols equals fewer computations. Sounds strong, but symbolic models have been known to be brittle. Unexpected patterns can become an impassable AI asteroid field. But Symbolica CEO and intergalactic grill master George Morgan is confident that they can cruise to habitable data sets for specific use cases, making AI activities cheaper to perform. So will we defy the laws of physics and find a path to more transistors? Will Symbolica lead us to a new symbol solar system? Find out next time on Seed Round. <laughs>